of uh, Prophet and Assassin is the story of an ex-entity, in my opinion, who are sending special people, messengers, nabis, prophets, to change the history of the world, to find a way to put people together, whether it's uh, Catholics and Protestants, like in the case of Henry IV, or if you take the John Kennedy, or Martin Luther King between black and white society, or Harvey Milk between heterosexual and homosexual. So when you have all these people shown together in the same room, you realize that this prophet came for a reason. But in my opinion, not only the prophets come, when they finish their mission, a killer, an assassin comes and finish this mission and send them to another dimension. for example, of, uh, of John Lennon. Yes. Yeah. Mark Chapman is in love with him. Yes. You agree? Yes. He wants to immortalize him. He wants to immortalize him, and he will immortalize yeah. him by killing him. Precisely. He, he became bigger than all of the Beatles mm -hmm. combined. Yeah. yeah. John Lennon has a status, a particular status. And in the case of Mark Chapman, yeah. remember, when we said, why did you kill him? He said, I heard a voice in my head mm -hmm. saying, do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it, over and over again. Yeah. So it was, it was like predestined yeah. also. An amazing work. thing yeah. too is that reoccurrent voice that you're talking about when they found him on the steps. He had Catcher and Orion in his hand and on every other page he had written, this is my statement, this is my statement. Exactly. I've had an incredibly good time doing these pieces. I mean, it's taken about three years, but it's, I, it's been an incredible journey. So I wanted to keep it pure and really come from my roots and my background. You know, things that my grandfather had come up with, the trimat process, incorporating that technique into what I'm doing. Almost feeling like you picked up an old piece of film and picked it up and looked at it and saw that it had been eaten by time and aged. We realize that there is a positive force, a force of good in action. This entity is sending these people to unite humanity. But you have another side to that. You have the evil side who send us a lot of the negative people and they have the same destiny. When you see this uh, recurrence you understand that something is happening and there is somebody looking over us, protecting us and helping us to find solution to the problem of humanity. And this is extraordinary. And when you see the whole thing together, it makes sense. So look and read the book. You're gonna see extraordinary painting by Christopher Butler. And uh, you see the story that I wrote to explain a little bit, this story of love and compassion and humanity and tolerance and, re and, and peace.